Hi guys, I'm Ryan with Rep Fitness. I'm one of the co-founders here. And I'm Adam, I'm a product specialist and part-time model. And I'm wearing a hoodie. Today we're gonna to give you an overview of the PR5000 Power Rack system. Between the two of us, we've got over 10 years of experience helping people choose a Power Rack for their home gym. And although he may be the co-founder, the Power Rack is basically my second home. So why a power rack? Well, if you're looking to get started with a home gym, and you're not sure what equipment to start with, doesn't matter who you ask, one of the top recommendations to get started is going to be a power rack. And if you look at it, every good commercial facility, collegiate teams and professional sports teams will have rows and rows of power racks in their facilities. Whether you're lifting at home by yourself with light weight and high reps, Go or, right. or heavy weight Go and low Tina. reps, what? You can go as heavy as you want and know that you're still safe if you fail on a lift. The reason for that is because you're in a cage with the bar. So it doesn't matter if you fail at the bottom of the lift, the safeties are there to save you. Or if you fall backwards, the uprights are there to save you and then the safeties will take the load. Additionally, a power rack offers an integrated pull-up bar, integrated weight storage, and loads of other attachments to take your workouts to the next level. Adam, who would you say this power rack is for? PR5000 is going to be the best rack for someone who wants the best, never has to worry about upgrading in the future. They want the same equipment that's going into the collegiate and professional facilities at a fraction of the cost. Yep, it's the most durable and configurable power rack that we carry. And it doesn't matter how strong you get, this rack is going to be able to handle it. And it looks pretty damn good. So let's go over some of the features of this rack. One, it is manufactured with state-of-the-art manufacturing techniques, including laser cutting, robotic welding, robotic painting. When you look closer at the PR5000, it's made with 11 gauge steel. This is the industry standard for heavy duty racks. Heavy duty is often an overused term. All you need to do is check the thickness. If it's not 11 gauge steel, it's not heavy duty. Another great feature is the laser cut numbering on the uprights and the cross members. This makes it really easy to line up the J-cups and the safeties. As if that doesn't make the PR5000 cool enough for you, it's built with one inch hardware. And one inch hardware not only looks badass, but it's gonna be damn near indestructible. Wow, Adam, that's huge. huge. Speaking of inches, we've got two inches from hole to hole here. So the reason that two inch spacing matters is when you're trying to set up for a bench or a squat, setting up where the bar is in an ideal liftoff position is really important. And the two inches is about as close as we can get while still allowing for that one inch oversized hardware. The customizability for your PR5000 doesn't stop at which attachments you choose. We offer some sick color combos for your uprights and your cross members. You can do some cool two-tone racks and you can match the color for your fire department, police station, or your school. The last thing is the stainless steel accents and other high-end touches. We're always going to try to incorporate that in future attachments and in everything that we do on this. So looking at the laser, laser cut logo plate cross member there, we've got that stainless there. And then we've also got the stainless logo plates on the side of the J-cups. So you've got a ton of options to choose from on this rack. One of the first things you really have to decide on is the six post versus four post. Six post is great because you've got integrated weight storage there and it offers a lot of stability. So there's no need to bolt it down. The four post option will be best for you if you're budget minded and concerned about space saving. If you just need a bare bones rack to work out in, you can get a four post rack. But if you want that six post rack in the future, you can always get a four post and then add on to make it a six post later on. After you've decided on the six post rack or four post rack, the next option to choose is gonna be the height. We offer two options, 93 inch and an 80 inch. But in general, it's best to choose the 93 inch if you have the space. Once you've got your height figured out, the next option to choose is your depth. We've got either 30 inch or 41 inch depth. We find that most people are fine with 30 inch, but some people just prefer the extra room to work with the 41 inch depth. All right, so after you've chosen the height of your rack, the depth, and six post versus four post, the next option to choose is gonna be your pull-up bar. Now we have the multi-grip pull-up bar which is gonna be what most people prefer. But we also offer straight pull-up bar options and even a globe pull-up bar if you wanna work that extra grip strength. You can see how smooth and easy these are. It's because I never train legs, it's just a training tip. If you're deciding on a pull-up bar and you're questioning if you should go with the upgraded multi-grip pull-up bar because you can't do three pull-ups with Ryan's chicken legs, 
I can do 30. Then you know that you can just use assisted pull-ups, get that first pull-up, and you really get the full benefit out of the multi-grip pull-up bar. Next option is J-Cups. We've got three different options to choose from. There's the standard, flat sandwich, and the rounded sandwich. All three types of J-Cups are gonna come with UHMW liners, which is a plastic liner to help protect the paint on the uprights, so there's no metal on metal contact there. They all have urethane in the part that touches your bar. So that's an upgraded feature over most competitors. Most competitors just have the UHMW on all sides, but we went with the urethane here, which is more durable and actually looks pretty darn close to new, even after months of use. Okay, so why would I choose a flat sandwich J-cup over the standard? So the flat sandwich J-cup is gonna offer you the most protection for your barbell. On the underneath side of the standard J-cup is this bare steel. So if you're doing a bench press or a squat and you accidentally hit the bottom of that J-cup, it's gonna be metal on metal, and we don't necessarily want that when it comes to your barbell. The flat sandwich J-cup and the round sandwich J-cup both have exposed urethane on the underside to help protect your bar more. And the difference between the flat sandwich and the rounded sandwich J-cups is the rounded is going to keep your bar where you left it, whereas the flat sandwich, there's a little bit more space to roll the bar in there, and it also leaves more space for those specialty larger diameter bars to fit in the J-cup. We know it's important to put safety first, so we have three safety options for your power racks. Starting at the lower end, we have our pin pipe safeties, then our flip down safeties, and lastly, the strap safeties. Starting with the pin pipe safeties, these are a low cost, durable option. It's a one inch thick steel pin wrapped with a pipe for extra strength. A nice upgrade from our pin pipe safeties are the flip downs. The nice thing with the flip downs is they save you a lot of time adjusting. There's some really awesome features on it too, like the urethane on the top to protect the barbell. UHMW liners to protect the paint on the uprights and we designed these with holes along the side for creative uses like using our utility pins for dips and whatever else you can come up with. The last safety option we offer is the strap safety. It has the same benefits as the flip down of the UHMW liners to protect the paint on the uprights but has the added benefit of the strap being a little bit easier on the equipment and it's going to be the most quiet. Next up, we've got weight horns. So these are urethane coated, just like the J-Cups. There's a solid steel core with this urethane coating. The awesome thing about that is it makes taking plates on and off virtually silent. And it's also extremely durable. So these are gonna look almost brand new for months. We offer two weight horn sizes. We have a 12 inch horn and a six inch horn. Now obviously a 12 inch horn is better. You just put more stuff on it. Your 45 pound bumper plates, uh, your larger iron plates, chains, bands, you can stack all that on there. The six inch horns are nice. Uh, they make taking on and off plates a little bit easier and they're better for your smaller change plates. This is our landmine attachment. It's arguably one of the biggest bang for your buck attachments that you can get. Basically the way it works is you stick a barbell in there and then you can add in all sorts of rotational exercises and other creative things that are really difficult to do inside of a rack. Another popular attachment for us is the dip attachment. As the name implies, it's excellent for doing dips. It's easily removable and UHMW lined to protect the uprights of your rack. Another attachment we offer are band pegs. A lot of you might not be familiar with how those are used, but we've got them set up here to show you. Basically, it gives you a really unique resistance curve with a barbell combined with bands. Earlier, when I said the strap safety was the final safety option we provide, I was kind of lying. We also offer spotter arms. Spotter arms are a great option for adding a bench press or squat station off the front of your rack. They have the same urethane topper that the flip down safeties do, and they also have UHMW coating to protect the uprights. So if you go with the spotter arms, we highly recommend getting the front foot extensions. That adds the stability so that if weight hits those spotter arms, you're not at risk of tipping up the rack. It's a really nice setup because you can set up the J-cups and the safeties inside the rack where you like to squat, and then set up the J-cups and the spotter arms off the front where you like to bench, and then there's no need to adjust when you're going from squat to bench. You've just got it set up how you like all the time. Next up is our lat pull down and low row. This attachment is designed to incorporate into your rack without taking up a lot of space. Adam, what kind of stuff can you do with this thing? Well, obviously, as the name implies, it's great for doing lat pull downs, low rows, but you can also do tricep push downs, bicep curls, 
And we saw some other cable attachments that make this a very versatile piece of equipment. So if you get our lat pull down on low row, you're also going to want to get our leg rollers. Adam will tell you why. So the leg rollers are super useful for holding your legs down during the lat pull down, but they also offer more versatility for movements such as Bulgarian split squats and for isolating your arms during a preacher curl. These are the rep iso arms. This is one of our premium attachments. It's extremely versatile. Adam, what kind of things can you do with this? Really, you're only limited by your creativity. You can use these for pressing movements, pulling movements, they lock in place, use them for pull-ups, dips, L-sits, inverted rows, and you can also replicate some of the movements you see in commercial gym machine pieces. So that's it for our overview of the PR5000 PowerX system. As we mentioned before, we're constantly coming out with new attachments as well as updating existing ones. So check out separate overview videos for all of our new product. Until then, I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. And that's it for all of us here at Rep HQ in Denver, Colorado. Thanks for watching. So starting with the pin pipe, you've got a one inch thick steel rod with a pipe wrapped around it for extra safety. You could probably double pipe it, but we don't recommend that generally. <laughs>